You want me to put that on my todger? Spare hair. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We know that Harry was taking the piss out of his baldy brother Prince William recently. However, pictures of him when he was in Japan and Singapore, taken from behind, certainly showed that old ginger bollocks is thinning on top quite considerably. And yet, there's even more mystery associated with Hairy Harry. Richard Eden and Catherine Lawton of the Daily Mail tell us the mystery of Prince Harry's spare hair. The Duke of Sussex declared when he joined American mental health tech startup Better Up in 2021, where he is the chimp officer, that he intended to help create impact in people's lives. Well, he certainly appears to be creating an impact on his balding thatch. A new photograph has been published on his profile page on the company's website, which gives him thick, dark locks. Now, I don't know why people are so surprised about this, because remember, Harry moonlights as a hairdresser. We all saw that because he appeared on the cover of a magazine nearly two years ago, standing behind his handler, saying, mm, Darling, it suits you so much. You really like it, yes. And he was quite clear that in that pose, he was being the hairdresser to his handler. So it's not a surprise at all to me that Harry might have been thickening the old locks up. As photographs of Prince Harry from his polo match in Singapore last week showed, his hair usually looks much thinner and lighter. Hair is a thorny issue for King Charles's California-based son, 38, who is chimp officer for better up. In one of his numerous jibes at his elder brother in his memoirs, Spare, he described Prince William's hair loss as alarming and more advanced than mine, despite their two-year age gap. Well, it certainly looks like that's coming back to bite him on the arse. Or, no wonder, with such a jibe, that it was decided that William would bash in the dog bowl using his brother's back and, he broke my necklace! The male asks, perhaps the heir to the throne should join Better Up, or should that be Better Hair? It comes after a leading UK cosmetic surgeon claimed in 2021 that Prince Harry's hair loss had been accelerated since he moved to the United States with Harry's wife and predicted he would be virtually bald by the age of 50. So Harry's going to be a slap head. He's no longer going to have the ginger thatch, but instead will be on the receiving end of shouts of Oi, Baldi! and Slap Heed! Now, pausing there, however, what's of interest is to the fact that the hair cosmetic surgeon has noted that his hair loss has been accelerated since he moved to the United States. What might be behind that? Is it the climate? Is it not conducive to having a good head of hair? Well, there'll be plenty of people in California that would disprove that that's the case. Might it just be that as he ages, he has this pattern baldness that is causing his hair to be removed? Well, quite possibly. Or it might be that he's actually losing his hair as a consequence of the stress that he's experiencing, and that stress being twofold. First, as a consequence of the sustained devaluation that he experiences from his wife's manipulations towards him, and also the fact that he has tethered himself to someone who is so singularly unlikable that so many problems are starting to manifest for them in terms of tanking popularity, lack of invitations to events, lost friends, and potential financial problems. It might be that Harry's literally tearing his hair out at the way that she behaves and is having a lot of stress as a consequence of the way that she has behaved and the ramifications of that, which is another collateral consequence of being ensnared with a narcissist. Many people will naturally testify to the way that the narcissist's behaviour caused them to suffer physical injury, to suffer sexual violence, to be emotionally hauled over the coals, to be psychologically tortured. 
that their self-confidence was shot, that their self-worth fell through the floor, that their finances were adversely affected, that they were alienated from their children, that they had friends and family relationships destroyed or damaged as a consequence of their involvement with the narcissist, that their ability to trust went through the floor, that they even perhaps experienced post-traumatic stress disorder as a consequence of the abuse. And to that can be added, potentially, a loss of hair. Dr. Asim Shamalak at Crown Clinic in Manchester says the Duke of Sussex is bolding at a slower rate than Prince William and is 10 years behind his older brother when it comes to hair loss. Dr. Shamalak said that at age 36, Harry is at the same stage of hair loss as William when he was 26. He added, The baldness gene is not as strong in Harry, but he's still losing his hair quickly. At present, most of Harry's hair loss is around the crown area. He has a growing bald patch right across his crown, and you can also see that his hair is also thinning out towards the front. Without treatment, the acceleration we have seen over the last 15 months will only increase over the next year. Harry may never be bald as, as bald as his brother William. William has been more affected than any of the royal men. Meanwhile, in 2021, a celebrity hairstylist claimed that Harry showed noticeably thinner hair during an outing in New York after cleving retouching skills, gave him a full body of locks to match Harry's wife on their recent Time 100 cover. It would appear, therefore, that he has been taking a leaf out of his wife's book in terms of cosmetic enhancement as a consequence of the picture that has appeared that certainly makes him look like he's got more hair than he actually has. But it is interesting to note that the cosmetic hair chap has identified that his hair loss has been increasing ever since he's been in California and that might be linked to the devaluing behaviours that he has been experiencing. Naturally, the fact that he's balding is something that Harry's wife would use against him also when she is issuing a devaluation. A narcissist is not going to be shy about using somebody's physical appearance against them. So accordingly, she may well mock him for having thinning hair. She may well compare him to other balding men, but say he isn't carrying it as well. Remember, she's got no emotional empathy for her husband, so it's entirely conceivable that she would turn around and mock him for his appearance, perhaps prompting him to do such things as to contact better up and say, make me look like I've got more hair. He may well be sensitive to the ribbing that he gets from his wife as part of his continued devaluation. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.